Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Wednesday, June 6th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had the opposite thing. Um, on Monday, we gap up and reverse down. Yesterday, gap down, reverse back up, and actually reverse up very strongly. But unfortunately, with very light volume, making um, the candle patterns kind of well, questionable. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today. Clearly, we remain in this very frustrating chop zone where we're locked between the bottom range here in the Dow, locked between the top range here in the Dow, can't seem to break through into resistance above, and we're just chopping and whipsawing. Um, what I fear is the, the, big, the big swings that we're seeing here in the market are inspiring um, inexperienced traders to jump or rush into trades and could very likely be chopping their accounts to pieces um, as this chop zone continues. Remember guys, we have got um, news coming tomorrow, or excuse me, news coming on Friday that could put us into a direction. Um, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. And it seems like the entire world um, right now is waiting on that CPI number. So first off, as you can see, we do have a higher low in this chart. So it does, it does beg that you know, idea or pr provide that idea that if those bulls can remain inspired, that we could push on higher. Clearly, clearly we've broken that downtrend in the chart. But when we look up here, all of this price resistance in this chart up through here could make it very, very difficult for those bulls to be able to follow through. And our moving average, our 50 day moving average continues to fall. So here we are kind of wedged between a 50 day moving average and a 500 day moving average, trying to figure out which way we're going to go. And unfortunately, this chop range in here is nearly 700 points, making for some very uncomfortable trading for uh, probably a lot of folks as the seesaws back and forth dramatically. Uh, very much the same situation when we look at the SPY. We did rally up, a bullish engulfing candle, um, trying to hold, well, we held that price support almost to the tick where those bulls came rushing back in and um, unable to break back above the resistance up here in the chart. And we do have a significant price resistance in this chart as well. So here we are, we're, we're continuing to chop and whipsaw back and forth. And like I said, likely creating some um, trouble in a lot of traders' accounts if they're rushing into trades. Um, we're not getting follow through on um, either side of the trade. Um, kind of an intraday. Um, if you're an intraday trader, that probably favors you um, in the market. If we take a look at our uh, moving averages here again, here we are. We continue to be wedged between our 50-day, our 500-day moving average. Just can't can't seem to get anything going yet and um, well we still have quite a distance to cover if we're going to make it up there to that 50 day in the SPY. QQQ ha even has a harder task ahead of it. Notice that its chop range has been a little bit less um, in, in, in range but unfortunately we still can't seem to break out leaving behind a candle that um, um, is a bullish candle, but not bullish engulfing. And as you can see in here, um, lots of resistance above still in the chart. Once again, we're kind of trapped here um, between ranges. We just can't seem to break up higher here. Notice on this chart, however, it is weaker with the price still below its 500 day and below its 50 day. Um, we're stuck right now between a 20 day and a 34 EMA that we've been kind of wearing as 
a hat here recently. So a lot of work in the NASDAQ um, if we're going to break that upside range. Of course, if the bears find inspiration, breaking the downside range may be just as challenging. If we take a look at our IWM, our IWM had the best day yesterday, pushing on up and look at there, our first index that rallied back to test its 50 day moving average. But let's keep in mind that we're a long ways from bullish here in this chart um, with a 500 day moving average above. So keep, an, uh, keep a, a close eye on all of this price resistance in the chart. Now it is interesting that we've been holding this upside side trend and that's a pretty steep upside move right in there. So I, I do question whether or not it will be able to sustain that much longer. So watch that carefully. Um, we also want to take note here, guys, as I back up through these charts, you're going to see um, we have been making these moves on very anemic volume. Um, we just can't seem to get a whole lot of energy going here or uh, momentum to to actually show us follow through on these charts which does leave some of these bullish candles in, with some major questions um, whether or not they're actually valid or just you know institutional chop um, ripping um, scraping uh, uh, retail traders accounts out um, let's take a look at our vix now our vix finally made it below the 25 handle so that's nice to see even though our volume was really light it's trying to show us that fear is dropping out of this market and as you can see we're we're right in there on that little tiny bit of price support, but we are below that 25 handle in the chart by a whole uh, by a full point. And if we take a look at this, well, we are breaking that little upside trend here at the moment. So watch that closely. This downtrend continues to to play out. So fear continues to drop out of the market. Unfortunately, if we look at our T2122, well, doggone it. Um, we didn't fix anything yesterday. In fact, we left more questions and answers here on T2122. We're still up here in the bearish reversal zone. And now um, looking at a little bit of a bearish move this morning, a uh, possible gap down um, here in this in the chart. So we're just hanging around up here. We're just waiting on the CPI, I guess. Um, so keep an eye on that. What that does tell us is we really don't have a whole lot more of upside potential um, here in the market. Um, and and it, it, it also says that we have a, a big downside potential uh, should those bears uh, decide to um, sharpen up their teeth and start uh, pushing their way back to the downside. So watch that. If we take a look at our T2107, now our T2107 made a nice improvement finally at the end of the day yesterday, made a nice improvement. 29, almost 30% of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average. But you know, um, we still have all of this price resistance and all of this downtrend yet to get above. So we still have a, quite a bit of work here on T2107. However, our T2108 did show a nice improvement as well yesterday. And look at there. 50% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So that is a significant improvement uh, for the bulls um, pushing those stocks back above their 50s. But as you can see, still downtrending, still quite a little bit of price resistance in this chart that we're going to have to work through. And unfortunately, our T2101, I really don't think is giving us much good data at all as volume continues to remain weak. Remember, T2101 kind of tells us um, about momentum and, well, our momentum is sideways in a wide ranging chop. So, um, really not getting good quality data here um, in this um, indicator. Let's take a, a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, first off this morning, we've already received our mortgage applications. And once again, we show negative numbers. The prior was um, composite um, um, a week over week was a negative 2.3. It came in at a negative 6 
and a half uh, purchase index a negative 7.1 and the refinance index a negative 5.6 so growing over the prior so obviously nothing happy in that report so far this morning um, we still have a wholesale inventory is unlikely this moves the market at all petroleum status and unfortunately guys petroleum prices are going higher yet again today and we have a new national gas price um, um, as well as you can see 495 um, what do you think you think tomorrow we're going to see a five dollar average national gas price uh, kind of seems to be looking that way um, so watch that carefully that certainly is creating impacts to the consumer and then of course we have um, um, the petroleum status that could affect positively or, or negatively um, um, those oil prices today so watch that and then a 10-year note auction which we may want to pay attention to because bond yields are once again moving up um, as the market kind of expects um, higher rates ahead and if you take a look um, over here we don't have a whole lot tomorrow we've got jobless claims natural gas report um, some bond auctions and a fed balance sheet that we kind of ignore anymore so keep an eye on that um, just another day of wait until we catch that cpi number and possibly um, pick up um, some direction in the market let's take a look um, at our um, earnings calendar now our earnings calendar well, we have about 20 companies on the calendar, um, but we don't have all that many that are particularly notable because a lot of those um, on the list are the very, very small cap, you know, one and two dollar type stocks. So not particularly market moving, but we do have a few we'll want to be paying attention to. Um, ABM um, will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that one. We've got Campbell Soup reporting today. It looks like we're getting a nice move here to the upside here on Campbell Soup this morning. Um, must have reported well. Um, might want to keep an eye on that. Uh, defensive sector, food related stocks, you know, um, continuing to show lots of positive um, positive things um, as our food prices continue to surge higher uh, DAKT um, will be reporting today keep a close eye on that five below um, a discount retailer will be also reporting today a couple others like THO reporting nice gap up this morning here um, pushing right into its downtrend we'll have to see if that can be enough to push it on through that downtrend and um, last that i'm going to bring up this morning vra which uh, a six dollar stock not exactly all that notable but if you want to catch the full list click the link just below the title of the video that'll but take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list of notables let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find them to be useful to be helpful if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments it helps a ton and i just thank you all so much and i also want to give a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through buy me a coffee i truly truly appreciate it you guys um honestly you humble me every day let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful about um um, trading a market in in a chop range like this where there's so much uncertainty in this big data point coming our way Friday morning so um, everything that you see here kind of you know make it maybe it's a watch list item maybe it's something you just want to avoid um, to avoid the chop of the market but let's take a look at these never by the way never ever blindly follow anyone's trade ideas uh, first off let's take a look Masco here as you can see um, 
pretty nice looking chart and I've placed a price alert on this chart looking at this as you can see a nice little upside trend here we're holding price support and I'm just waiting to see if that can pop through now it did back and forth yesterday it was popping through breaking down popping through breaking down but I usually like to to wait um, on a trade like this to see I don't try to anticipate an entry I want to have that move out here closer to trend and with the market showing a little bit of bearishness this morning waiting may have been um, a good decision we'll have to wait and see but keep an eye on masco you might also in that same arena you know the masco is building materials um take a look at home depot now home depot gapped down yesterday but popped back up and i mentioned this just a couple of days ago here in the morning prep and you can see if that can hold in here that's a pretty pretty nice looking um, little trend that could set up trying to hold this downtrend as support in the chart so watch that in here to see if that can have if masco is going to move up there'd be no reason why home depot could make that move to the upside you might want to keep an eye on that guy um, take a look at there's kind of a mix going on in some of these financials if you take a look at a stock like goldman sachs goldman sachs putting in a higher low doing its thing there holding above its 50-day moving average and what I like about these is notice that it's more than just the 50-day we've got the 50 we've got the 8 the 34 the 500 the 20 all coming up providing that potential squeeze in here but unfortunately this morning we also heard from uh, Credit Suisse um, their warning of a um, of an earnings miss next quarter already and that's having some negative effects so so keep a close eye on this but if we can hold some of these um, moving average squeeze levels in the chart and this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout um, Citibank or excuse me Goldman Sachs might be one to pay attention to Citibank is another one that's doing kind of the same thing here trying to hold up in this area of the chart unfortunately when we look at other stocks um in in the sector well um a little bit of a different picture bank of america still below its 50-day moving average and as a matter of a fact below its 500-day moving average so we have this mix in here so you may be able to watch this sector for both long and short um, as um, we try to try to decide what direction we want to go here um, let's take a look at a couple of texts um, um, AMD has been a chart I've been talking about here for a while and watching pretty closely and as you can see AMD continues to back up and rest in here and I think that's a good thing when we surge too far too fast um, we typically get more of a resting pattern if we were to look at this current trend in here the possibility that we could rest back into this trend watch for that next opportunity here in AMD if we are going to be bullish we need to deal with this downturn right here so it may require us a little bit more resting time in there before we can find that energy to pop through to the upside boy there was an awful lot of excitement in Apple um, yesterday but I gotta tell you you guys I'm not too impressed just yet certainly a higher low but I want you to notice that we're slamming right into a major price resistance in the chart not only the price resistance um, that goes back a long ways here in the chart as you can see but also the downtrend I'm just uh, one of the rules one of the problems that i had in my trading for years and years and years um, and as a matter of fact it was one of the hardest things for me to correct in my trading and that was seeing this big white candle and jumping on a trade like that and not recognizing that i'm buying directly at price resistance exactly the place or the stock could reverse and go the other direction so be kind of careful here on this I'm not all that impressed even though we had a nice bullish engulfing candle notice our volume was weaker than normal and boy big resistance level in that chart so be kind of careful I would want to wait and see if that could pop through and hold if it could do that then I would be all on board and interested if we could follow along a trend like that but right here at price resistance, very high risk and that possibility that 
Well, this is where the reversal can come, just like we saw right there. Reverse right back down. So be a little bit careful here. Um, let's take a look at um, a couple other stocks that I think are interesting, um, just simply because of their price patterns. PayPal um, holding up in this nice upside trend, um, holding support in that chart. I do think that is worth keeping an eye on. Um, pretty interesting uh, chart. Now we do have to recognize we still have a 50 day moving average above. Um, SQ uh, um, trying to hold in here. We're trying to get some of these pay systems going, but um, struggling. Um, now on the other hand, we have Visa. Now Visa um, had a nice day. Notice we've been locked in this wide ranging chop here and we're dealing with all of this moving average resistance in the chart as well as a downtrend. But if that can hold in here, hang on to this trend and push on through, then we might start seeing some of these pay systems come back. So there's a few charts. I got to tell you guys, I am not all that enthusiastic about the market here. There's just too many things out there suggesting some bearishness. You know, the, the, the global downgrade, the Fed GDP tracker suggesting recession is on the way. Um, clearly our CPI, um, is of interest to everyone in the world as we have energy prices, food prices, and housing prices continuing to move up. That doesn't um, suggest that um, inflation is peaked just yet. So kind of keep those things in mind as you plan forward and just prepare for another day of choppy wild volatility. And it's frustrating, I know, but sometimes it's better to stand aside than throw um, uh, good money after bad um, as we continue to gyrate around in this um, wide ranging chop zone. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Um, great. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone. I wish you all the best.